All right, so we brought you upstairs um, for, I suppose, the conclusion of the tour. Nothing super crazy up here, but um, you kind of get an idea of the layout of the upstairs and how it's all going to function. So right here at the top of the stairwell, uh, we have a light switch. And there's another double gang box down at the base of the steps so that when you walk up, you can turn off the living room lights downstairs and turn on um, the one fixture that's going to hang right here for the stairwell. And we put it this height so that we can access it and take the bulb out. And I don't want to be up here in a ladder when I'm 75 years old. Um, here's our second smoke alarm box. Um, and then right up here at the top of the steps, we have all of our... Uh, electrical uh, controls, I suppose, for, for this side of the upstairs. Um, this is built at the moment as a one bedroom uh, with, well, I suppose really it's a one bedroom with two baths, um, a living room, kitchen, and then that dining room, and arguably it's not a separate room because there's no partition wall. But um, we've made provisions here to be able to isolate the rooms and potentially have three bedrooms and the way that septic system sizing works, we would be able to do that change. Um, although, actually, I think we could add the bedroom anyway and they couldn't make us change it. But um, our, our septic system is sized for up to one to three bedrooms. So there you go. So the way that's wired, we got a three game box here. So we have um, a switch for the wall sconces upstairs. Again, no, no ceiling lights in this room, at least. So we've got one, two, three, four sconces, which would be in this room. And then it's a triple gang box that's over there. So the, the other two uh, slots are for a switch for a fan light and then a fan controller so that we can have a ceiling fan mounted here, which would probably be a, a, a ceiling type, not a drop down, because these ceilings will be about eight feet tall when we're all done. Um, so we'll be able to have a ceiling fan, which would be nice for some air. Um, you'll see that we have two um, ceiling mount heat registers. And then when we're all done, we'll have a newel post here at the top of the steps, and then a, probably one halfway, and then a solid handrail and then balusters that'll go all the way across here. So this won't obviously be a death trap, hopefully. So that's this half of the upstairs. In here, um, we've got a couple of little cans and uh, a heat register. We didn't. We opted not to do three like we did downstairs. Um, those are on their own switch. We've got um, a dual gang box here for two outlets um, and then some media connections and then a couple more outlets on the back side. This will be an office space so the idea was that the desk and computers would go here, hence the dual gang box. Um, lots of light, beautiful window that faces to the south. Um, but also if need be, there's plenty of room here that we could add a partition wall right across here with a door. Um, this room is like seven and a half by about 11 and a half, which isn't huge, but it is big enough to be a bedroom. Is, um, it, is it bigger than the original bedrooms? This is probably about the size of the, uh, this is probably a little bigger than the small bedroom was in the original house. So, um, yeah, I mean, by modern standards, it's small, but it really is plenty of space. You could easily put a, a single, or a twin bed uh, width-wise here, and then they have room for a chest of drawers and a little whatever um, with a door and it have its own switch. So with that, we'd be able to make um, a bedroom here, so then we'd be up to um, another one. And excuse me, I have no lights that are turn on a bolt <laughs> in the bathroom at the moment. I'm gonna fold these wires around so that drywall guys don't have to mess with it. But, um, in here, we'll have vanity. And we had a couple of uh, outlets there for the vanity. Um, three gang box, so we're going to have a vanity light switch. We're going to have shower light switch, because the shower has its own can light. And then stool lights. Actually, it's going to be vanity, stool, because that's probably the second most highly used feature of this room. And then shower light switch. So that we'll be able to turn on the overhead light right here or the overhead light right here in the shower. So that should be pretty nice. So have the shower right here. Um, you can see I've already uh, pre-installed blocking and everything so that we can put towel bars. I mean, there's nothing worse than grabbing a hold of something like that and having it pop out. Um, and then one here for the 
toilet paper dispenser uh, outlet. We're going to have like a, a wardrobe or something here uh, that we'll be able to put stuff in. No closets. I, I don't know. I just have this thing about closets. I think they're a waste of space. Um, let's see here. We had kind of a unique little problem that's probably worth noting. I don't know how, how dark that is. It's pretty dark, but let's give it a shot. Here. The power of the iPhone. Okay, look at that. So you'll notice that there's a secondary little wall in here, and what happened was downstairs, right where I needed to cut for this um, toilet flange, there's a floor joist in the way. So what I had to do was actually build a secondary little wall because you don't want to, I was told you don't want to have your, your tank stool, uh, your, excuse me, your stool tank too far out from the wall because sometimes people tend to lean on them and uh, the, the porcelain isn't super strong. So you want to have something pretty close to the back of it for support. So I just built this little jut out and they'll sheetrock around it and it'll be a little kind of interesting detail. It'll be in here. and People lean on them? Yeah, people with gastrointestinal problems. You know, sometimes you have to really bear down. But um, anyway, so we have a couple of vents here um, in this wall that you can still see they're not covered. But this is the vent from the shower downstairs, or the, excuse me, the washing machine. And then this is the vent for the stool. And they come up and divert, and then they meet up. That There's a 90-degree uh, elbow, and that pipe runs straight across and intersects with this 3-inch stack. So... Here you can see kind of the basic plumbing, so you end up with a, a waste pipe, and then you end up with a vent that comes up. And traditionally, the vent just, you know, comes up above the, the top height of the water line by a foot or, or more, uh, ideally, and then just ties back in, and then that works as it's vent. So, all right. Um, as we come through here, um, and then same thing here. We've got light switch for the master bedroom, um, fan light, fan controller, ceiling fan will be right here which is centered right above where the bed would be. Um, and then we have a series of wall sconces that aren't all hooked up at the moment. Um, outlets, nothing super crazy here. Um, and then there's a light switch right here which controls this light which is designed just for getting dressed in the morning right over the chest of drawers. So that we can turn those lights on without having to inter, uh, or bother the, anybody that might still be sleeping. For instance, if you have a, a wife who's always asleep when you leave. Always. But, yeah. That's I was most awake of it. before you on Saturday. So, well, I guess there's, you know, once. And what, we've been married for, what, 25 years now? That's what it feels like. But, um, <laughs> anyway. Oh. So, last thing we've got... Uh, you got a what's called a vapor barrier up here, and then that just basically is an air an air barrier, or yeah, well it's an air barrier between the conditioned space here and the attic, which will be blown in insulation after they hang the sheetrock. Um, you can see I've gone to some kind of extreme lengths of taping all the seams, and since I get a little bit uh, crazy about some of this stuff, I actually taped over every staple also. Um, and this is our attic access. I built this little frame, which actually I thought came out kind of nice. Um, and then there's a little door there, and it'll all be painted when it's all said and done, and that'll be how we'll be able to get up there. So, uh, so yeah, I guess I had said up to, up to three bedrooms, so the last option would be to add, if we wanted to, this would be the master bedroom with the bath. We could just add a partition wall across here in the bedroom two, so that would separate these two spaces. And then we could add one more wall right through here, have a plenty of room for a big 36 inch door and voila we would have a three bedroom house so that's pretty much where we're at with this right now um, it's going to look very different once we sheet rocket and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the tour um, that's going to be all i have for you tonight as far as the house's current condition but there's going to be one more video that's going to be coming up here in just a minute that's going to be about sort of the the bigger picture here the philosophical aspect of building your own house. So anyway, I hope you stick around for it. See you later.